Steve's Game Blog! Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to have a look at Avon Colony, a new city simulation game from Mothership Entertainment. At first glance, this game looked like it was going to be an all serious business affair of managing space taxes and other boring number simulation shit. It's why I tend to shy away from sci fi city games like Anno. However, I was pleasantly surprised to find that Avon Colony is a much lighter experience, both in tone and in gameplay. Think Tropico, but in space. In fact, it's probably its biggest problem as it's a little bit too light on content. I'll get into that later. Just like in Tropico, the game starts out with a great tutorial system. It very slowly introduces you to all the features and mechanics of the game, allowing even a city sim newbie to quickly adjust. Watching your colony grow in particular, getting to see all of your little people flit about your space base in real time is great. You'll build all of the stock standard stuff you see in every city sim. Power plants, farms, factories, parks, housing, etc. You have a single resource you use to build with, which you can obtain by mining minerals, farming crops, trading, manufacturing, all the same kind of shit. You'll have to keep an eye on your food and water supplies as well. Once you've got your bearings, the game throws a few curveballs at you and that's when things start turning to shit. The first of the bad shit is winter, which you may have assumed happens every year. Winter kills your solar power plants and crops, unless you invest in the more expensive greenhouses and geothermal energy. The problem with winter is that the investment is always worth the payoff, to the point where I basically stopped building regular farms and solar power plants just to ensure my whole colony would keep running smoothly through the season. Losing power, even just for a little bit, has a massive negative effect on your colonists. So winter has come and gone, introducing you to the first of many ailments to slam your colony. The next mission introduces toxic gas, which can fuck things up pretty bad if you don't either slam down geothermal power plants on the gas vents, or ensure you use the more expensive air filtration buildings. Then you get ice meteors, which need special laser gun buildings to shoot down. Then there are alien bugs that attach themselves to your buildings, space plagues that kill your population, and a giant dune-esque alien worm that shoots, spits shit at your base. It goes on and on. Rather than getting to grow my colony to greatness, it felt like I was just constantly cleaning up all of the shit that got thrown at me. Individual buildings need to be repaired so often, a task that gets pretty arduous when your colony reaches a certain size. Just like in Tropico, your continued leadership is reliant on periodical elections. This would be fine if your colonists weren't the most fickle whiny little shits in the galaxy. You could have a 90% approval rating and then BAM! Toxic gas manages to not even kill! but mildly annoy a section of your colony and it drops through the floor. If you lose power even for a short period, you can bet your stupid colonists will hate your guts. They even lose approval if they have to walk too far to work. In a game with no public transit system, the only way to solve this is by slamming down a condo next to every single building. The game's story, though amusing, takes place through a series of conversations between people you know nothing about and have no input on. There's a lot of lamed, forced facepalm jokes. In the end, I didn't really care about the characters or what they were trying to do. Ultimately, Avon Colony has a really good simu city simulation core that's hamstrung by the addition of a bunch of shitty features and the lack of some good ones. It had a lot of potential to be a game about growing a huge settlement, terraforming a planet, and some conflict with the alien natives, but instead becomes a game about making sure all of your buildings are repaired and have power, and shithead colonist McGee doesn't have to walk more than five minutes to his job at Space Taco Bell.